Hello, my name is Joanna Kern. Today I'm going to be talking about genetic screening, genetic diagnosing, and genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is when cells are manipulated and modified with the genetic material of an organism and then the ability to change the cells to match the desired trait. Genetics is, our, is the manual to how a person works and develops. My scenario is you are a new nurse working in a GYN office. This GYN office um, not only sees women, but also does the um, genetic testing for BRCA1 and BRCA2 for breast cancer. You have a 25-year-old patient coming in. She has a, a significant history of breast cancer, so she has done the BRCA test, um, gene test, and she's coming in for her follow-up. The physician um, asks you if you'll come in the room as part of your orientation. So you go in with her, and uh, unfortunately, this patient does is positive for the BRCA gene, um, and the physician does the follow-up. That day is very busy in the office. Um, you're learning lots and lots of new things, and genetic testing is, is fairly new to you as a nurse. That evening, your friend invites you out to dinner. You go out to dinner with her. And you're just discussing your new job um, and your day, how your, how your day was. And your heart kind of goes out to this patient. And you try to imagine, um, as you're discussing with your friend, how would you react if that was you and you were positive for this gene? And um, what would you want to do for, um, for the follow-up. Um, not only do you mention, you tell her the story, but you also mention her by name. Do You did not know, but your friend just got a new job as an insurance agent, and later on, that patient will be reaching out to her as an insurance agent for lifelong, um, for long-term care insurance, as well as, um, life insurance. So one of the ethical theories with genetic testing is discrimination of either an employer or the healthcare health insurance companies. Patients are afraid that if they get the genetic testing, they could be denied insurance coverage or the liability or be a liability at their place of employment. Fortunately, with the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, of 2008, it protects Americans from discrimination based on their genetic information in both health insurance and employment. Then, the Patient Protection and Affordability Care Act in 2012 went further and protected individuals with pre-existing conditions such as BRCA1 gene from losing their health insurance or facing an exorbitant premiums. Also, I learned um, in this research that Florida, in the state of Florida in 2020, was the first state to become to put into law the inability for an insurance company to take in consideration genetic testing for long-term care and disability coverage. Two of the ethical principles that were violated in this scenario are justice and confidentiality. The principle of justice states a person is due fair and equitable distribution of health resources. So because the nurse violated the protection of the patient's information, this insurance agent um, could use that information against her for getting the coverage that she should need. The um, provision I chose was provision three. It states the nurse promotes, advocates for, and protects the rights, health, and safety of the patient.
In conclusion, genetic testing has caused many advances in healthcare, from testing of a fetus to genetically engineering of stem cells and genetic engineering of material for treatment options for long term medical conditions. All of these can be very beneficial for treatment options and making future healthcare decisions. But laws and practices need to be put into place to keep the patient and the healthcare worker safe and govern the control of the processes. Genetic testing can be used for future generations to promote health. Thank you very much.